Day six of the taxi strike in the Western Cape and still not a sight of a taxi here at the station deck in Cape Town. Uh, we are speaking this morning to some of the vendia, uh, usually the space uh, on the station deck uh, filled with commuters as they make their way to and from work. And at the moment I'm joined by Ishmael uh, Mohammed. Uh, he's one of the vendors here. Ishmael, good morning to you. Um, you were talking to us early on about the past week and what you've seen in terms of commuters and passengers coming through here. They usually stop at your shop. Explain to us what the situation has been like since last Thursday. Uh, since last week, the business is not going well because of what is a problem from taxis. So we're not getting even any customers. No one is coming to buy. People are suffering here. The people you can see, the how is suffering outside. You don't get anything. The people that how he was coming inside in the taxi line, he was getting some food, he was getting something. So now we don't get anything. So I don't know what we can do. We understand that the um, ta uh, taxi organization, Boris and Taku, said um, when they called the strike that it will last until the 9th. That's tomorrow. Uh, what are your hopes going forward as a small business, um, getting those people back here, getting the commuters coming past to buy from you? Uh, we need the government. Government must do something the, to sort it out, uh, this, this, uh, this problem. Maybe at least we can survive. But out of this, we can't survive anymore. But the government must do something. Ishmael, thank you very much for speaking to me. Of thank course, you. they're one of the vendors here at the Cape Town Station Deck speaking to us a bit about the challenges that they have faced over the past week uh, with uh, less commuters coming this way. Of course, uh, thousands of uh, workers uh, into and out of Cape Town making use of the taxi service. And of course, uh, for the past week, they were not uh, able to do so. Uh, earlier today, a Western Cape Premier, Alan Windy, uh, sent out um, an email and a voice recording saying that he had had an extended cabinet meeting this morning uh, to uh, get an update on the situation uh, around the taxi strike, saying that uh, as at yesterday, some 40% of school learners were, were not able to get to school and also then appealing uh, for calm, uh, saying that this morning the situation has been much more calm uh, and not seen the kind of violence that accompanied uh, the strike action we've seen yesterday, uh, scenes on the N2 highway um, at Waters Quarry um, of buses is burning and of course uh, also on the city of Cape Town JP Smith Mako members a Facebook page giving uh, updates uh, saying that there have been sporadic incidents uh, this morning of intimidation uh, communities in uh, like Masipu Mulele as well as isolated incidents of um, stone throwing out in the noon area uh, but so far the situation uh, calm on the ground and of course all eyes now on uh, Santaku in terms of whether they will be making an announcement later on today uh, in terms of uh, the resumption of taxi services in the Western Cape.